What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Chicago Auto Pros. We're here on a Sunday and we're with our friend Justin Pate. We wouldn't be here on a Sunday unless Justin Pate was in town, so. There's a lot. You're special. <laughs> we're gonna uh, showcase your new product, Triple S. Yep. We're gonna showcase a new Avery Dennison film. Yes. And we're gonna work on a few different cars and go over techniques and just have some fun with you today. Exactly. It has all about having fun. And for me, it's a super big honor to be here with your crew. Amazing what you guys are doing. Great reputation. Everywhere I go right now, I said, I'm going to Chicago Auto Pros this weekend. People are like, oh my God, they're amazing. So we're a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get to work. Now you're going to take triple S. What you want to do is you want to go from one side to the other. And in this case, you want to generously spray it on. I want ultimate coverage right now with triple S. On some materials that maybe have a really low initial tack, I'll just put it on the body lines, the high points, and maybe the slight curves. Once I put triple S on the main area, what's extremely important right now is to come back with degreaser. In this case, panel wipe. And because I sprayed it generously on the surface, I'm going to do what we call the reference to a Focus 360. What I do sometimes is I'll just do one more little polish on the body lines, because body lines is where you're gonna get most of your sanding. So I'll put one little second coat on the high side, one little second coat on the side, high side here, and especially the front, as I pull the material down, I sometimes get a little, some dots right there. So I'll just put a little second coat right there, and I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. So this, for me, is my prep with Triple S. So now I'm gonna get the ultimate slip. There we go. I'm going to show how to pick it up. So this is kind of like it has a higher initial tack. So I'm going to put this on and just kind of spray and slide. And you see how it sits on top of the wrap really good. And it just allows me to kind of just flow the material. And again, way less pressure. Kind of getting that nice flow, peace of mind, and just not having to work very hard. But also, I know that this is a gloss black film, and it's extremely sensitive to scratches. So right now, because I can put this on, I don't have to work very hard, plus I know 100% for sure that I'm not getting any scratches on this very sensitive film. And I'm just being super patient with the air egress, letting this stuff breathe. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of working the film around the edge, See it from down here. So what I'll do is I'll just do a 360 cut. And again, I'm just doing quick, dirty, nasty cuts. That's what my wife loves. So you can see that I used triple S pretty much everywhere. And very, 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 I mean, almost like zero sanding here, but you can see right here where I missed a little spot, you get sanding, but everywhere else I didn't get sanding. And here on the edge where I took, and I'm learning too, where I took the panel wipe, I took the panel wipe too deep and you could see sanding here. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you don't have a section with, with triple S, you're gonna get sanding, like instantly. So, so you really have to be, it's almost like now that I'm thinking about it, I'll just clean the bottom. Yeah. Just don't even clean the top. Nope. So make sure it's a hundred percent. Cause I mean, you can see, how fucking sensitive this material is to sanding. Like mm -hmm. any, everything else that has triple S, super smooth. Anything that doesn't have triple S, so you have to be super focused on coating because you're going to get that. Go, oh, go, oh, go. Oh. Cool, so we are going to be wrapping, what's the, what's the color called? Obsidian. So we're going to be wrapping the hood in obsidian, is Avery, 
obsidian. So we're gonna be wrapping the hood on my TSX with obsidian black Avery Denison, and we're gonna be doing chrome delete on the sides. It's gonna look fucking sick. <laughs> so you use the triple S, what do you think? Very, very cool product. I really, I'm really liking it. Putting it on, very simple. Spray on, wipe it off, and then come back and kind of do a very light polish on it. But you wanna leave the product on there because it's gonna make the install process so much faster and so much easier. The smell. Well, it smells like strawberries for sure. There's a hint of lemonade in there and there's a hint of like Caribbean weekend, like you're having a good time, you know. A little bit of that in there. So it's, yeah, it smells really good. So you stopped right here where there's a break. Break. Would you ever not stop there? Um, or you have it two separate pieces? Because it's like, it's a break, but I don't think it's meant to be a break, you know? Because it's it's pretty smooth. Like you could almost just go over it though, right? You could, but it's also a different part number. Well, it's also, for me, it's also in Chicago. It's going to get cold, and if it bridges that gap, it's going to crack. Uh, yeah, so if this was in Florida, I'd probably go over one piece. But I think for here, just because of here, I think that for me is freaky and I think that would break because the car is going to shift mm -hmm. and then you might get wrinkles then it's going to get dirt because it's a high access point. So I think it's always better to cut. It's almost like box trucks and trailers. Mm -hmm. They have different panels and I see a lot of installers bridge over it and leave it, but then water fills the gap and then it pops out. So it's the same thing as I always cut it. If there's a break, I cut it. Kind of feels like installing PBS. Yeah. It's so slippery now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I like that. You just picked it up like that. And you probably don't have a line. Oh, yeah. Do you have a line? That's crazy. That's the thing, too. No lines, no dusting. I just think it's better than anything out there by far. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything close. So, sometimes, even in paint protection, code, let's say sticking really bad, yeah. we just use that, wipe it down, and spray water. Lay it down, it works really super good. So, Triple S works for PPF too? Yeah. I like to hear that. So, one cool extra benefit of Triple S, Jason was saying we should call it like quadruple S, is the idea is that what's not only is good for under the wrap on your squeegee and then on the wrap for six months, is most aftercare products for wrap, once you spray it on the window, it kind of leaves a big, big haze. You have to come in with alcohol or a special window cleaner. But what's really cool about Triple S is the fact that it actually dries instantly and doesn't leave any streaks. So for me, in terms of aftercare for wrapping, not only am I putting Triple S on the wrap, but I'm also putting Triple S on the window to move any handprint so I don't have to grab another bottle. And I can actually wipe down the inside of the car. So it's great for interior, it's great for glass, and it's especially good for your wrap. So that's why Triple S is amazing. So I don't have to get and have three or four different products, just have one, and it smells good. Thank you to Justin, thank you to Eric, thank you to Albie, E-Man, for coming in on a Sunday and hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it.